If you haven't watched the intro, I put the link in the description below. I'm trying to keep the videos um, shorter by breaking into several parts, not in any particular order. In this part 1, I'm going to review this uh, zip pouch uh, max first. This is the thinnest and uh, most minimalist looking one from the three, which is kind of their uh, signature look, uh, signature best look in my opinion. Unlike uh, unlike these two, there's no uh, thick soft padding at the back. It does have this inner layer, which I'm guessing to help retain the rectangle shape. I do put this uh, padding, which I highly recommend to separate the hard metals from the fragile um, tech gadgets. Your gadgets uh, will thank you. What I like from this is the simplicity and the super minimalist look. It's also very slick looking where it keeps everything flat while being able um, to store quite a few things. Oh, and my rule of thumb is that these bags would look nice if we only store maximum 60 to 70% of the maximum capacity. Otherwise, they start to look um, too bulky. They will still fit, but they won't look as nice. Plus, with their smooth seat belt like uh, strap, they won't stay in place if they are too heavy. That's also why I stick uh, with their smaller slings. There are many bigger models available. I wish it, it has like, tiny grips or something to help them secure it uh, in place. The strap is removable. I use it with the strap all of the time though, because it's kind of weird carrying it without. Plus there's nothing to hold on otherwise, unless you want to toss it in a, a bigger bag. This is perfect for um, iPad minis or Kindles, but sadly not for Android smaller tablets with a longer ratio. See the, the opening, even though it looks like it should fit, the openings prevent it from entering um, easily. The way I usually use it is to put uh, my ABC in these two uh, separate inner pockets. Wallets and keys in uh, one, and right light slice on the other with uh, some kind of tool sometimes, multi tool. Then I normally put my phone in the front pocket for uh, easy quick, ac quick access. I even left it unzipped most of the time. It also gives this uh, dual tone look with some orange accent, which is a good combination with the OD green. They usually use their signature bright orange inner material with honeycomb pattern. Which is not only for look but also functional in my opinion. As it makes it a bit easier to find things inside compared to a dark colored interior. And to retain the flat shape, I normally leave the back pocket empty. Or put something flat like coins or maybe important documents such as passport or tickets when traveling. Unlike the utility pouch, all three zippers are waterproof. There's no pull tab though. There's this same uh, rubbery tag with alpaca branding. This size falls between the bigger L sling and the smaller utility pouch. I feel that the functionality also falls between those two, where the bigger S-Link is more suitable towards tech gadgets and the smaller utility pouch is more suitable for EDC stuff. And obviously due to the small size, only phones will fit. I tend to use this more than the AirSling since it fits my EDC gears better, but I um, normally carry the bigger sling as my son wants to carry uh, me to carry a tablet for him to play i need to uh, get a new um, ipad mini for this <laughs> speaking about air sling let's continue to part two thanks for watching see you guys in the next one bye now